Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. So today we are going to do a soul symbol uh, for July. So if you've been following my channel, you know that I've been doing this series of the soul symbols per month. And I've been incorporating what the soul symbol is and the birthstone that goes along with that month. So in this case, for July, the birthstone is a ruby. So I painted the rock white as my base coat because as I had one of my viewers suggest that maybe to make these colors pop a little bit easier and not get sort of swallowed up by the black background, then to try white background. And so that's what I did. And kudos to you who suggested that because it worked amazingly so that's what I did so I've also done some experimenting with uh, white and black backgrounds and anything that is a deep color like a deep bright color um, like yellows and oranges and reds uh, and some greens they do get kind of swallowed up with the black background so I'm thinking I'm going to do white backgrounds from now on and then if I want it black I can paint it black. So I'm uh, doing here is um, I'm doing the gem and uh, I'm just blending the colors in so I use the pure color uh, on the outside and I paint it on and then I use my finger sponge to uh, blend that out because I want to get rid of those brush, stroke, brush strokes. Sorry. Um, and then what I do is I use that same color and I just add a little bit of white to give it a little bit of um, a different shade, so a lighter shade. And then I put that in the middle. Then I just use my finger sponge and I continue to blend from the center of the circle all the way out to the edge. And I continue doing this until I'm happy with my blend. And you want to work pretty quickly with this because it's acrylic paint and it does dry pretty quickly. Um, especially uh, right now we're in the middle of summer and it's July and we've got this heat and the paint dries a lot faster than what it would in like, I don't know, January. So definitely work as quickly as you can if you find that your paint does start to dry before you're finished just give it a quick spritz of water and uh, it'll make it wet again and then you can um, definitely go ahead and continue blending so the next step I did was I used my black to go around the edge of the gem and now I'm just painting the rest of the rock uh, black because the border that I'm going to be putting on on this needs that black background um, and of course I always do the gold stripe around sort of as my frame of the gem and uh, I, I love this gold it goes on kind of milky uh, but once it dries oh my gosh it is so beautiful and uh, definitely a, a gold that I can really, really um, grab onto and it just makes me happy. So uh, that's, that's why I like to use this gold. So I go all the way around and I uh, put on this border and uh, make it look great. And uh, then I can move on to the next step. The soul symbol for July is fire. And I wanted to do something a little bit different than my previous ones that I've done for the months uh, where I've actually put the, uh, the symbol in the center of the gem. Uh, I decided to do something a little different, so stay tuned for that. But I want to let you know what the July Soul Symbol of Fire means. So it means that you are always guided by passion. And if something is important to you, there's no looking back. And I, I say this with everyone that I have painted and I have posted that the soul symbol for each month, I know somebody that was born in that month and it's them to a T. And I just, it blows my mind that these things can be so accurate and um, have these meanings for individuals that are in my life. Uh, but let me know about you. Like, are you finding that these meanings 
go true to people that you know that are born in those months. Um, so I've already done January through to July. Um, so go back and, and watch the videos and check out the meanings or listen for me to tell you what the meanings are. And then let me know uh, if this matches somebody that you know or even matches yourself if that's your birth month. Um, but I will be doing uh, the series um, one a month uh, for each of the, the soul symbols. And I always paint two rocks. So one is on camera, so one is off camera. And they're just to do uh, different techniques or to try something out so that I can perfect it. Um, but what I've been doing lately is I've been recording them both. So if there's interest that somebody wants to see the other recording or the other tutorial that I've done, I will gladly post it. Just leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll get it up there for you. Um, usually within a week, uh, I'm pretty good at uh, getting that up there. So just let me know and I'll post that for you. So as I've been rambling on, you've been watching me uh, draw on some tribal flames. Now I'm just using my General's charcoal pencil because it doesn't leave indents in the paint and it wipes off really easily after uh, the paint is dry. You just use a damp cloth and it just wipes off really easy. So I'm just drawing it on um, sort of here, there and everywhere and just to get my basic guidelines. And then what I did, as you can see me doing right now, is I took my uh, very small blending brush and I'm just dabbing in paint of the red uh, into the biggest areas because I don't want paint brush strokes to be shown. Although I do end up with some paint brush strokes, but you know, you can't be perfect. And if it was perfect, it wouldn't be artwork. So you've got to have these little bloops that are in there um, and it's totally okay. So I'm working away at doing this, just putting in um, some blended red color uh, into the bigger spaces of the flame, but I'm also going to blend in or sort of not necessarily blend in, but have it go from red to orange to yellow. So the very tips of the flames are all going to be yellow. And then between the yellow and the red is going to be this really bright orange. But I end up doing it all with a paintbrush. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, going over the red uh, to where my blending brush couldn't get to because it was just too big. And I'm just filling in and covering up the lines and going around and doing all of that. Just to get it prepared and for the... Um, for the orange color which is next. Now I don't paint all the way up the flame so you'll notice that I've left all the tips. Uh, they're, they're not painted red because like I said I'm going to do orange and I'm going to do yellow. So I'm just painting the main parts of the red and that just gives me a really good starting point and I do let this dry before I paint the orange because I, I tried it to on on a something else that I don't have a video of but um, it didn't work out very well so I thought well let's do it this way so that's what I did I just uh, painted in the red and let it dry then I went back in with the orange let that dry and then went in with the yellow and trust me it looks amazing at the end um, so stay tuned to the end because I show you the finished product let me know if you like this video by giving me the thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I try to post every Friday with new content. And if you don't want to miss anything, ring that bell because that will give you a notification to let you know when I've posted my next video. The colors that I'm using are colors that I just have in my stash. And I've listed the colors their names and the brand down below in the description. Uh, so go and check that out. But you don't have to use what I'm using. I totally urge you to pick your own colors, make it your own, uh, do it the way that you want to, use what you have in your sash. Um, you can even make this so like the flames aren't even, like you don't use the three colors, just use one color or just two colors. 
Don't even use the red. Just go with the oranges and the yellows. It's totally up to you. I'm po posting this video for you to get inspired to do something on your own. Um, however, if you want to own this rock, then you can always go into my Etsy shop. I will be posting that probably in the next week or so. Um, and the link to that is in my description as well. So you can also follow me on Facebook, on Instagram. I've got it all in the description. If you're interested in uh, where I get the molds that I make these rocks, I get them at the Happy Dotting Company. And again, there's a link in the description below. And for a lot of my rocks that I do when I do the borders, I use dotting tools. And these dotting tools came from the dotting center. And there's a link in the description for that as well. And there is a discount code for you to get 10% off. Um, so make sure that you go down into the description, find that discount code and use it at the dotting center. Uh, she has amazing stuff there. Uh, you can also follow along with tutorials that she has on YouTube using the same tools. And it's a really good, helpful tool to use to learn how to use the dotting tools. Um, I did it. I thought it was amazing. They're my go-tos. And definitely when I do mandala paintings and things like that, that's what I go to. So um, having said all of that, there's a lot of information in the description below, so I do urge you to check that out. Um, also follow me on Facebook, go to my Etsy shop, all that good stuff's all down there. Um, but just know that I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for you guys. I, I really want you to watch the video that I'm posting and get inspired to do it yourself. And when you do, I'd love to see your product. I'd love to see what you got out of it. So join my Facebook group and uh, you can post it in there and say like, hey, this is what I created from your inspiration. Uh, it just warms my heart to see that what I'm doing is urging other people to maybe reach a little bit further out of their comfort zone or to try something new or maybe you're really good at this and yours turn out better. Um, and I, but I would love to see it. I really, really would. It would, uh, just make my day. So definitely, uh, I'd love to see them. So make sure you join my Facebook group as well. Um, so to get back to the painting here, um, I'm now putting on the orange and you can see that I'm only doing like the center part, I guess you could say of the flame. Uh, so I reach up from the red and I bring it up just close to the tip so that uh, I can put on the yellow. And here I am doing that now. I'm putting the yellow on and I'm just putting it on the tips. But look at the transformation that just by adding that one little piece at the tip, it just makes that flame look so hot and so cool. Like it's, and I love tribal flames. So, you know, that's my, my thing. But uh, I just love how this turned out. Um, and like I said earlier, I did do two. I will post them both at the end of this video. Um, the other one isn't as spectacular as this one, but it is still in its own right a, a wonderful way to, to paint the uh, soul symbol for July. So I definitely urge you to hang around. We're almost at the end and see what that finished product looks like. Um, and I also do a resin coat on these before I take pictures of them so they're nice and shiny. It's art resin that I use and it's UV protectant so it keeps your colors vibrant. And I didn't put any bling bling or any um, glitter or anything like that on this one because I thought the flames were enough uh, to give that... Uh, the richness of what uh, the bling bling or the glitter paint or anything that I've used in the past would bring to it. The flames really do this. And I, so that's why I didn't bother with anything else. I really like how the flame crawls up sort of like encasing the gem. Uh, and 
almost like they're grommets or something that's holding it in place, um, but it, using the flames to do it. I was very happy that I ended up uh, putting some of the flames on top of the gem. I was a little bit iffy at it first because I really didn't want to take away from the whole birthstone part of it, but I think it just adds to it. It just it incorporates it, makes it sort of merge together. And I'll be honest, I was a little bit apprehensive about doing this design. When I first drew it out, I wasn't sure if it would work or not. Um, but I thought, what the heck, let's give it a try. And I'm so happy I did because it's beautiful. So as I finish up here, putting the yellow tips on, I get it ready for a resin coat. I usually wait about 24 hours and then it's finished. So there you have it, folks. Life is what you make it, so get creative.